Good evening. This is the evening news of Remo TV. I am Oluduro Jeremiah. On the national news, the country for the past few months has been in a state of pain after a different act of adoption, kidnap, murder of a citizen by bandits and terrorists. Hence, people's life and property has always been threatened without exception to any state of the country. Governor Yahya Bello said Kogi remains the safest state in Nigeria even after the recent attacks that claimed the life of a commissioner and the adoption of a local government area in the north central of the state. And we reiterate that Kogi state is the safest state in Nigeria today. It doesn't mean that there are no pockets of issues that are grappling with the state. Like I always say, they will come in their numbers, but they will never return back, especially the criminals. Yes, there are some notorious spots in the state, Bello said. Governor Bello further stated that it doesn't mean that there are no challenges. Challenges are part of what makes a country or state stronger, but the ability to solve the issues logically is what makes them superior. He promised that this state we always do everything possible to ensure the safety of its citizens, lives and property. Still on national news. About a few weeks ago, the media here to the president, Gabashe, who claimed that the spiritual director of adoration ministry, Enugu, Nyadra Amen Reverend Father Ejika Mbaka, fell apart with the presidency on account of being denied contract. The media head had alleged that the Catholic cleric took three men to his boss for an unsuccessful project. This has caused a lot of controversy on the social media platforms and people calling on the Reverend Father to revert on the allegation made if it is not true. Father Mbaka has asked come forward to clarify the allegation that has been made against him. He said, I took three contractors to the president and the reason was to tackle insecurity during Buhari's first time. In Nigeria, if you say the truth, they attack you. I'm not discouraged and I have been waiting for them to challenge everything I said. Challenge the truth, whether there is insecurity or not. He continued by saying somebody talked about giving me contract and I started laughing. I'm not here to defend any allegation. Brady government is not giving me money or contract. It is a lovable and childish accusation. It is a shame to whoever is saying that and to the people he is representing. For the three men she talked about, the contract they asked for was for them and not me. These three men had gadgets and facilities to undo insecurity during the first time of Buhari. They said they had a platform to end the insecurity in the month. I didn't know these people. They just asked me to help them reach the government and I handed them over to the government. On international news, at least 23 people were killed and dozens more were injured after a overpass for the Mexico City metro collapsed on Monday night, sending the subway car full of passengers plunging towards a bustly boulevard below. According to Mexico City Mayor Claudia Shembao, we don't know if they are alive, those trapped inside the train and cars. There are unfortunately children among the dead. This is an unfortunate and serious accident. Mexican Foreign Relations Secretary Marcelo Ebrard regarded the incident as a terrible tragedy. He further said, of course, the causes should be investigated and those responsible should be identified. And Brad wrote on Twitter, I repeat that I am entirely at the disposition of authorities to contribute in whatever way is necessary. On Sport News, Senate incident has the depressed court that has been available to him for some time as Real Madrid traveled to face Chelsea with Marcelo, Sergio Ramos, Federico Valverde and Falan Medi all available. Sidin will also have options at left back with Mendo recovering from a calf strain suffered in mid-April while Marcelo has been able to travel. The Brazilian was seemingly set to miss out entirely after he was called up to monitor a local election. Madrid were held to a one-all draw at home by Chelsea meaning they either need to win or secure a score draw with exception of one want to progress to the final in Istanbul at the end of the month. Lastly, on entertainment, singer Chidima Ikile has explained why she dumped secular for gospel music. The singer who refers to serve as Mommy Gio is currently signed on with the Easy Concept and has released her first gospel song titled Jehovah Overdue. During an exclusive interview, she said, Our God is faithful. He never lies and he does whatever he says. So I am here today. It's been a long journey. I had an opportunity to spend time with him. It's a rare privilege to spend time with him and he told me a lot of things and he said he has been waiting for me so he is happy to receive me. 
God has been very intentional about me. As a matter of fact, I did not want to be here, but I'm going into ministry in full time. So most of you might not understand my ways because you don't know where I'm coming from. And that is because a lot of time has been wasted. And that's all on the evening news of Remo TV. For more news, check us on our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Official Remo TV. Visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I am Oluduro Jeremiah. Good evening.